welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. It is Tasty Tuesday. It's been a couple of weeks, but I am going to be sharing with you a recipe from one of the packets that I got from our vacation. And this one is going to be a BLT roll up. So I'm gonna turn the camera around. We're gonna make these together. All right, so I'm gonna start with the dip mix first because this has to go in the refrigerator and chill for four hours. And then when that gets done, then I'll bring out the rest of the ingredients. So what we're gonna start with this is the BLT dip mix packet that I picked up while we were on vacation. And the website is www.countryhomecreations.com. <clears throat> I'll have a link down below with the to the website. And then for the recipe, I'll have a link to it to my blog with all the the measurements and everything, um, but you'd have to have the packet to actually make the dip. So we have the dip packet, and then you need a half a cup of mayonnaise and real mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip. I'm not a mayonnaise girl, I like Miracle Whip, but in these dips, I'll do what they say. And then a half, one and a half cups of sour cream. So we're gonna mix this all up together. The other ingredients, I'll tell you right now, you need chopped tomatoes, shredded lettuce, uh, shredded cheese and then tortilla shells. So I'm going to mix up the dip mix first All right, so we need to blend the sour cream and the mayonnaise together. So I have a cup and a half of sour cream I'm just going to Slide that in there Love my pampered chef cups Put that aside real quick so now I need a half a cup of the mayonnaise so I'm just gonna pull my cup down to my half cup measurement and then where is one of my skinny spatulas I need to get some new spatulas these ones are starting to crack I've had these for many many years and they're finally starting to break down so just need a half a cup do make sure I'm on camera do the same just push all that mayonnaise in there scrape off what's on the sides and then we're just gonna blend this together to get it, them incorporated with each other and then we're gonna add in the seasonings okay that looks pretty good so I'm gonna open a packet. Get everything shook down there. And then add in the seasoning packet, which let me raise you guys up just a fuzz. Get everything in there. smell the bacon it smells yummy Make sure it's all incorporated really well So we're gonna go put this in the refrigerator, let that chill for four hours, and then I'll be back to assemble them. All right, so the dip is out of, it's been in the refrigerator for four hours. Now we're going to chop up some tomatoes. We get them out of the bag. So I'm gonna chop up a couple of tomatoes and just kind of chop and shred up some lettuce. And then we have some cheese for it, and then our tortilla shells. Now for the recipe itself, to use up all of the dip, you make, you do 10 tortillas. I am just going to do one, maybe two tortillas, and then the rest of the dip, I'm going to say we're gonna eat that with crackers. But, so this is what you would do if you were gonna do it with the 
tortillas. Pull the stickers off. I'm gonna rinse my tomatoes off, rinse off my lettuce, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I've rinsed off the lettuce, broke off a chunk, and I'm just going to give it a good slice, probably slice it in half. I contemplated just grabbing a bag of already shredded lettuce, but that was ridiculously expensive and I didn't need to pay that much. So this way I can use the rest of the head of lettuce for salads this week. So I have that chopped up. I'm gonna chop up the tomatoes. So we have the tomatoes chopped up. Now I'm going to pull out two tortillas. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm using the large burrito size tortillas. <clears throat> Let me take a quick peek. So now we're going to spread some of the cheese mixture on here and then we're going to sprinkle it with tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese and roll them up. It smells really good. I'm just going to give it a quick stir. And then just spread on the tortilla. Kind of leaving a little edge around just so that way when I roll these up, they won't ooze out the side. And then we're going to wrap these in a plastic wrap and chill them for about an hour. All right, so now we're just going to sprinkle with all of the cheese and the lettuce just kind of eyeball it how you want to do it same with the lettuce Oops, it's kind of a big piece Now it says one cup of tomatoes, one cup of lettuce. I put it all on one tortilla. Let's see how well this rolls up.
right, so I'll wrap those, chill those, and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm just gonna slice these up and place them on my tray over here. I've already sliced up one. I'm gonna cut off the ends because those ones don't look so pretty when you cut them up. sampled part of the ends taste really really yummy this dip is going to be good on crackers as well but I will have a link down in the description bar for the website where you can get the um, BLT dip mix so the dip mix here which is from country country homes creation but there you are BLT roll-ups hope you guys liked the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what your favorite roll-up wrap is. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye, guys.